Hello, and I pray that you are well today. For our scripture reading today, we're going to look at Proverbs 3, verses 1 to 7. And uh, as I was growing up, uh, when I looked at the Proverbs, I would just look for catchy phrases or things that I might uh, kind of find important or valuable to me, or maybe it was a, just a really neat phrase or something like that. But Proverbs 3 has always been a section of scripture that has lasted with me. And uh, it's one of my favorite sections of scripture just because of verse 5 and 6. But verse 1, it says, My son, do not forget my teachings, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. And the idea of these Proverbs that Solomon wrote were to give wisdom to the young, to help them and guide them as they grew up and developed and matured. And so there's lots of great things that Solomon wrote down. But verse 5 and 6 in Proverbs 3, when it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. For me, uh, that is a verse that I go back to frequently just because uh, there's a lot of times when I depend on myself. Uh, I work hard or I try to impress someone or I try to uh, use some sort of quip to help me get through a situation but it comes from me, and I'm trying to figure out a lot of times why does it have to always rely on me? And I think it's because I'm a sinful person. Uh, I tend to really think that I have all the answers. Uh, if you ask my kids, that's probably what they would say too, that you know, dad's always got the answer to something, um, even if they don't like it. But verse five, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And I think that's important for us to, to hear today, that we trust in the Lord with all our heart. And not just necessarily when things are going well or when things are going poorly. Uh, I've heard of trust in kind of two phrases before where it's called adversity trust or praise trust. And I think that's valuable uh, to us to, to see that the, the, the types of trust that we have are dependent upon our situation a lot of times. But this one doesn't say in a certain situation, do this. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and, and try not to always rely on what you know or what you think is to be best or whatever, but to trust in the Lord. And that's sometimes difficult for us. And I, I, I can tell you it's very difficult for me in many ways because a lot of people, uh, my students, my own kids, they look to me for answers, and I try to provide those to them, but I want to show them what God has in store for them too, not just my own wisdom or my own situations, but to give them what God has for them. What is the wisdom that God can give them? And so in verse 6, it says, In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. And I think that's sometimes difficult uh, for many of us because it says, In all your ways acknowledge him. Uh, I, I tend to acknowledge God when things are going well. Uh, I, when things are not going well, I tend not to do that a lot of times, and that's, that's my sinful nature coming in. But at the same time, I think it's important that we see that God says, or Solomon tells us, in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. And I'm, I'm not saying that by uh, going out and talking about Jesus all the time that our lives will be perfect. But at the same time, he helps when we acknowledge him and we are putting our lives in his hands. It helps to straighten our path. It helps us to see the end. And even if there are some curves in the road and some ups and downs, we are able to still see that future and that, uh, that value in what is at the end of the road and not just what we are dealing with currently. And so it's important that we trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not on our own understanding, but in all our ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Would you bow your heads in prayer today? Gracious Father, we thank you so much for providing us with opportunities to trust you. And I pray that you will help us to not only trust you when things are going well, 
because uh, that's a, a fairly normal response. But when things are going poorly, when things are not going the way that we would like them to be, especially in you know, like in this time of the p pandemic and the ups and downs of our world right now, things don't seem to be going well. But we know that you are in control and we can put our trust that you will get us through those things. So in all our ways, we acknowledge you and we know that you will keep our path straight and we will be able to see that end result of heaven. I pray that you'll bless everyone today and uh, thank you for having them join us as we uh, continue to go through scripture. In your name we pray, amen. Have a great day and God bless.